this is the accident and emergency zone. This is where the seals are first brought into when they're rescued from the sea. Normally, the creche would have around 150 seals every year. But already, so far this year, they've had more than 350. And that's why this special giant tent has been erected to deal with the unprecedented demands. So this is the fish preparation zone. This is where they're filling the fish with vitamins. Doesn't look very appetizing, but there is a reason for using raw herring, isn't there? Yeah, the herring has quite a high, high amount of fat in it. And this is good because it means seals gain weight faster and we can release them sooner. These are the quarantine units and these are where the most sick patients are being looked after. Each one of these units is full of special equipment designed to restore the seals back to health. And these are the transportation baskets. So when the seals are picked up at sea, they're put into these baskets and transported back to the crash. So this is one of the seals that's just being brought into the centre. And around here it's going to be put into an emergency container. Brand new baby seal to add to the 370 that are already in here. These seals aren't actually sick, they're just lost. They lost their mums, they were abandoned. The parents were washed off the sandbanks and the mudflats and so the babies have been rescued and you can hear them still crying out for their their mums they still sound really sad this is the appropriately named fish kitchen and in here we're going to see how you make fish porridge so minced fish is here we've got ors which is oral rehydration salt so it's just uh, water with uh, some salts to help rehydrate the animals and also then we have calopet, which is just a high calorie paste just to give a bit of extra energy to the seals as well. So, Sounds delicious. <laughs> I've tried it and it's not too bad. And so this is the rehydration salts that are being added to the fish mash. Yeah, exactly. Fish porridge. You can try it if you want. Mm-mm. This is the final leg on the seal's journey. This is a kind of holding bay where they're looked after before they're sent back into the ocean. The problem is that when these seals are sent back into the sea, those old issues are still going to exist, the pollution and the overfishing. And so the people working here at the centre are hoping that because of the increased demand this year, it will help draw attention to those issues.